What is up guys and welcome back to the game plus today I got you a special video one of you guys reached to me on my Instagram asking about the Dolphin emulator for iOS and they were asking me if there's some way to add cheat codes to the emulator to use with this specific game that you guys can see on the screen we were seeing it before and yes that's a way to actually add cheat codes and use it with the games I did some tests recently and they actually work uh, some of the cheat codes that I tested with this game was uh, the infinite HP and ammo and the money the ammo the money and the infinite HP for this game is working so I'm gonna show you how to add those cheat codes to the game as well I'm gonna take it a step further the file that I'm gonna create for the cheat codes based on the, the information that I found on this website that has uh, the cheat codes let me just put the website here so you guys can see it as well too Okay, up on the website on the side and let me move my screen to the capture card full screen there you go so these are the cheat codes that i found it's called action replay and i selected the version of the game that i'm using using the us version and those are the cheat codes that i'm going to be using i remove all the cheat codes out of the game so you guys can see how i add it but like i was saying earlier i'm going to take it a step further if you have the US version of the game, I'm using the US version of the game. I'm gonna be sh sharing a file that you're gonna put inside of one of the Dolphin emulator folders so the cheat codes will be automatically available to you so you don't have to add it. But I'm gonna show you step by step how you need to add them. So for example here, um, in some cases you're gonna need the master code. So the master code basically will let you enable all the cheat codes but we're not gonna add that just yet because the emulator will let you know if you actually need to use the master code or not for some of the cheats you're gonna get like an error message and i want to show you exactly um and what to do for example here we're gonna have the let's start with a infinite ammo we're gonna start with this code right here so i'm gonna copy this right here You would just highlight it and you know copy it but right now i'm using the keyboard with my ipad pro so that's why you, you didn't see me copy it but i actually just did the copy just now so let me minimize this real quick let's go back to the emulator and right here to the game very important you have to enable cheats on settings first before you start doing this otherwise some of the cheat codes not even going to work at all so you gotta make sure you have the cheat codes enabled and let me go back again so you guys can see how to get here so you're gonna go to settings when you're in settings you're gonna go to configuration then you're gonna go to general and right here you're gonna see the option for enable cheat and then you're gonna have this enable another thing is that the majority of the Genki, uh the GameQ games and some of the Wii games for the emulator you need to use the game uh the emulator on single core stereo dual core because if you have some uh, the emulator and dual core for some of the games the game is going to be freezing so you gotta make sure you have that um set up to single single core and of course you have to use the jib in order for the emulator to work properly i did many videos on showing you how to do this so I might leave, this, uh, leave the video down below in the video description so you can find those videos and you can see exactly what I'm talking about because you're going to need that. But right here, going, let me go back again because I'm going a little bit too fast. We're going to go to conf configuration. We're going to go to general. Right here on the general, you're going to see the option for enable dual core. Again, do not enable this feature because I still set it with this game. This game runs better with, uh, with a single core. The dual core option is again for some specific games that you're going to need it. But for this game, you do not need to have the dual core enable. So after you have those options already, uh, now it's time to add the cheat code. So we're going to hold down the game. We're going to hold it down. You're going to go where it says property. In property, you're going to see here all the information for the game. And right here, you could do three things right here. You could add Gecko, which are some of cheat codes. Add replay, which is also some cheat codes. And patches, some patches that maybe the community made to patch and fix some other bugs with the game. But the cheat codes that we're going to be using, I'm using Action Replay. So I'm going to click on Action Replay. In order to add those codes, you're going to click here on Add. You're going to put a title for the cheat code. I'm going to paste it right here infinite ammo let me minimize this again let me go back into safari and right here we're going to copy the rest of the code 
So we're going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to minimize this again and I'm going to move back to the emulator and we're going to paste the code right below here. So we're going to paste it and we're going to click on save. After you do that, you're going to notice that when, you, uh, when you're back on actual replay and uh, you can see the code is right here, but it's not an for yet. And pay very close attention. This right here is the identifier for the game for the cheat codes. So I'm going to add the money code now. So we're going to go um, back to the browser and I'm going to look for the money code infinite, infinite. There you go, max money. So we're going to highlight this. I'm going to cop I'm going to copy it and I'm going back here now and we're going to put the name right here, paste it. Now we're gonna get the uh, money code right here. And don't worry, I'm gonna have all of these codes after this video already set up. So you guys could use the chills directly from the file so you don't have to add them one by one. So I'm gonna do the hard work <laughs> in the background for you guys. So you don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna paste it here. I'm gonna save it. So now we have two different codes in here. We got the infinite ammo and we got the max money. Now I'm gonna enable the codes. It's now is enabled. And I'm gonna click on the game now. Right here, remember I told you how do you enable the chip? So just have that in mind. I already showed you guys how to do this. So basically, I'm using this app right here. I'm using Side Store. There's so many other ways to do it, which is also using All Store, All Server. But this is a new way that I'm doing it. I'm gonna have this tutorial uh, down below in the description, so you guys can see again. So I just need to hold the emulator right here, and we gotta enable chip. So let's enable the chip. If you see this error here, which is basically I need to close this. And I also need to go here. This is all on the tutorial that I'm talking about, guys. So make sure you check that out. It is very helpful because if you have this, you don't need to have a computer to always enable the JIT for your emulator or side loading apps. So let's see. Let's go back to see. And sometimes this uh, has some connection error. That's normal. You just gotta turn it off and turn it back on, and it should be working fine. There you go. The JIT is now enabled and I'm going to click on return. So basically it's going to take me back to the game right where I left it. But I don't, um, so you can see it could take you back right where you left it. But I don't want to do that. It's, it's just to show you what you could do. It actually let you continue from where you left it off. But I'm going to reboot the game from the beginning. I'm going to skip some stuff. some of this because I want you guys to see if this too another dimension of the screen looks kind of weird right now but I, I haven't set it up to be 16 by 9 it's just so I could show you guys real quick everything working properly I mean, okay, perfect. So, first control it, no, perfect. All right, so that's out of the way. Let me add the control scheme so I can show you right now. Sharing control, control the range. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna use this one. Yes, if our configuration, now we have the controller connected because I'm using a game controller. There we go, perfect. Okay, remember I enable the max ammo and the money. Right now, you see only have like 10 bullets. Let me just aim down, shoot. There we go. As you guys can see right here down below, my bullets went to 99 from 10. So I could be shooting. I have infinite amount of ammo. I have infinite amount of ammo. And look at the money right here, the, the, the pitas. I have... 9999999999 so i have a lot of money and infinite ammo so as you guys can see these codes are working again i'll show you how to add it one by one but i'm going to have a uh, in a file and i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do with a file when i'm done here the link is going to be later available 
I, I'm going to have it both on the video description as well. I'm going to have a pinned comment. So please make sure you're actually looking and reading the description in the pinned comment because many of you guys don't do that. So that's when I'm going to have the file. If I see you guys asking for the file, I'm sorry. And I'm going to reply for it because I just said it's going to be in the description and it's going to be in a pinned comment. So that's all you need to do. And when you get the file, this is the next step that you need to do for the file. When I uh, have the file available, you're going to go to your um, uh, Dolphin Emulator folder and you're going to go where it says Gain Settings. Gain Settings right here on Gain Settings. That's where you got, if you customize the, the game, the game is going to create a .ene file. The ones that I showed you earlier for the cheat codes is actually this one right here. So you're going to see this file here. The the G4BE0A, that's actually the cheat file because if I do this, let me show you, I'll just to show you also too. We're going to share it and I'm going to block this out, of course, so you guys don't see this. And right here, we got the file. Let me delete this one. That's the one that I was testing previously. I'm going to delete this one. This one doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. And I'm going to change right here so you guys can see the extension. I'm going to convert it into a test file. Now let's open that file. And as you guys can see, these are the stuff that I added recently. I didn't need to add the master code because it was added automatically. So I didn't have to do any of that. And as you guys can see, it has some of the cheat codes already in here in this file right over here. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you want to support my content, you could always become a YouTube member. It's only 99 cents per month. Or you could simply buy me a coffee. And again, all the files are going to be down below in the video description. And also, I'm going to have the cheat file pinged into a comment. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.